Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I have a high intensity discharge HID spotlight. This is a 35 watt bulb in there, and this light runs off of these type of batteries. This is a 12 volt battery, 7 amp hour. I also have a crystal ball, I have a parabolic mirror, and I have a magnifying glass used to solder stuff with, wires, that sort of thing. We're going to be seeing if we can get this flashlight to start a fire. This is a black piece of corrugated board. It's used for packaging and displays. This is, uh, I'm using black so that way it absorbs the light from this. And I've seen a lot of videos where people have shown starting fires with flashlights and I question a lot of the videos. Some of them are spoof videos. Um, they don't really understand the optics behind starting a fire with a flashlight. You can't just use this right here to start a fire. You'd need to do a lot of a lot of work to get it to do that. What we're doing is we're taking the uh, reflective shape that's inside of this particular light that's designed to shoot light a long distance and we're going to be running it through different things that act as magnifiers. You can see this crystal ball is an excellent magnifier. This is probably 15x or but um, it also spins really nicely um, we're gonna be running the light through that and seeing if we can catch something on fire okay I got the light and the ball set up and I'm gonna turn the light on and see how long this takes and see that started smoldering instantly So that is with the crystal ball. Now I have the small magnifying glass set up. This has a longer focal point. See that that actually didn't put a hole in it, but it did uh, start to scorch it. And I have a very nice small six inch parabolic mirror that I'm going to be turning the light on and I'm going to scoot it this way because this is reflective. So we're going to move this into the focal point. And you can see because the parabolic mirror has a larger area, it's collecting more of the light and concentrating it. This has uh, very good optics on it, so it's actually doing a really good job really fast. In fact, that's probably going to burst into flames. I also have my RPM tester, which has a laser on it. The laser pattern looks something like this. And you can see how wide it is. That's because this has a lens in there that gives it a little bit of a different shape. What I'm going to do is shine it into the parabolic mirror and see if we can focus it. See if maybe that'll work. So I'm shining it into the mirror and it's bouncing from there to the mirror back over to our target. And I'm going to bring it in to tighten it. You can see while it tightens it down, this laser won't actually burn this material. I do have a laser that I'm going to show you in a future video of that cuts right through stuff. It burns it instantly. It's a legal laser too. I'll show you where you can get them. So now what I've done is I've taken the light to the parabolic mirror to a test tube filled with some black screws. 
there's also water inside of there and I'm gonna check the focal point make sure that we're right about that problem with the parabolic mirror in a large target like this is you actually block a lot of the light so they work best on a finer target like that we're gonna see how long this takes I'm gonna time this and stop the video and see if this actually goes so you don't have to sit here and watch me make water boil So we have a little bit of a boil. It took eight minutes to do from this flashlight. Concentrated by this six inch parabolic mirror. On these black screws inside of a test tube. So with that flashlight, we were able to boil some water, very small amount, and we were also able to easily start a fire. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. This is an interesting little fact about uh, LED lights. They have a little lens in them, and I'm going to show you something. This is the regular magnifying glass, and way over there I have a white board. So what I'm going to do is put this through here like that and show you. Let's see if I can get this right. The LEDs, uh, this type, are not strong enough to effectively start a fire, but that's pretty good light considering that this is just a little 2-watt bulb in a nice little spot. And this is a cool little flashlight, 10-watt flashlight a friend of mine gave me. This has a high-intensity LED in it. I'm going to show you that. You can actually see the square that this square LED. I'm putting it through the magnifying glass. 